So today we're gonna be making a super easy crock pot shrimp scampi. So I started with some raw shrimp that's already been peeled and deveined. And now we're going to add some garlic. Um, you can add actual cloves of garlic, but I like this pre-minced stuff and I love garlic. So I'm gonna put a generous amount. You wanna measure about two tablespoons. So I put two of these guys big heaping amounts. Next, we're going to add about a fourth cup, which is half a stick of butter melted right on top of the shrimp. And it wouldn't be shrimp scampi without a little bit of white wine. This is just a Chardonnay left over from a party I had. One fourth cup of white wine. Next, you can use some lemon juice. You can use fresh squeezed or just the stuff that comes in a bottle. And we're going to add one fourth cup of that lemon juice. We went ahead and chopped up some parsley. We have about a fourth cup parsley. We're just gonna sprinkle that on our shrimp. Regular table salt, half a teaspoon of table salt. and then a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Now that everything's in there, we're gonna go ahead and give it a quick mix. Just make sure everything is well combined and coated. Those spices are getting up in those juices. And what's really important about shrimp and making and cooking shrimp in a crock pot you want to make sure to keep the temperature on low. So now that everything is coated, we're going to go ahead and cover our crock pot. Make sure not to latch it. That's just a safety feature for when you travel with it. So keep those latches loose. And we're going to cook this in the crock pot on low for about three to five hours. Woo! Oh my gosh, that smells so good. It smells okay. incredible. Just look at that beautiful coloring on oh the shrimp. My gosh. Oh man, and those juices at the bottom. Ooh, okay, we're not done yet. We're gonna go ahead and add some cheese to it. Just a fourth cup of shredded Parmesan. I'm gonna go ahead and add that to the top. And then we're gonna mix this up. When we mix it up, just like a slow cook chicken or um, pork might do it. It might shred up like almost like a crab cake. So we're just going to mix it up a little bit. But if it fall, if those shrimps fall apart, that's okay because it's still going to taste amazing. So you can actually serve this in a, a few different ways. You can serve it directly just the shrimps like this. But because it is a scampi, I went ahead and made up a little pasta. We're just going to dish it over the bed of pasta. Now we're gonna get some of that saucy goodness, drizzle it on top. We don't want dry noodles. Who, who likes dry noodles? Perfect. Wow, this is gonna be delicious. I'm very excited. Like, go in like butter. Woo! Get a little bit of noodle on there. Come on, not fair. This is really good. Yeah? Mm-hmm.